Hey yo, Stoic here. Hey, welcome to The Bedrock Guide. We're going to be making a guardian farm today, except this time we're going to be using four spawn locations to get more loot and more XP. Talking about XP, we're going to get to level 30 in about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. That's what I got on average. And then I topped out at about 107 levels after 60 minutes. I pulled in almost 59 stacks of fish, 57 stacks of prismarine crystals, and 119 stacks of prismarine shards. Take a look at the description for a list of materials. All right, the first thing we need to do is find an ocean monument. This one is beautiful. Just look at that. You're going to find them in the deep oceans, and they can actually be under ice as well, so you've got to be on the lookout for them if you're having trouble finding them. But one of the first things we got to do is jump in and find some elder guardians inside, take care of those, and then we can start spawn-proofing this place. Here is one of three Elder Guardians you have to take out before you get going, as I mentioned earlier. So take them all out, have some fun when you're doing it, and then we can get moving. Elder Guardians out of the way, you can see that the sun is rising in the east, and that's going to help us determine which way is north. The other thing we can do, especially if it's raining when you're out here, is just come down, and you can see that the Prismarine has this tuning fork here, and that little line it's going to point towards the north, and we can confirm that just by looking that the sun is rising in the east, and that way is north. Here's one of the tricky parts of this farm is that you have to spawn-proof everything in order to get the best rates for this farm. So to do that, there's 25 spots scattered throughout this ocean monument, and we're going to start with the first one right here. We're going to come to the northwest corner. We figured out which way our directions are. We're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to dig that out. And we're going to come down as far as we can go until we find gravel, andesite, stone, anything like that. And we're just going to pillar all the way up until we get above the water, just like that. And you can put a piece of glass on top of it or a slab on top of it to prevent, you know, zombies or creepers from spawning on top of your pillars when you're working. We're going to use a map and we're going to put it up here in a second and to find the rest of these. But as an example... On the map, you'll see that there's going to be a space of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we go to the 11th one, and we can come in. And we're going to break these out until we find what we're looking for there. And we're going to pillar up. You'll notice that on the map, there's a number that says 10. And that's 10 spaces between columns. The next one will be 15 between columns. You never put one on the 10th one in this case, because that'll just mess up your count. But that map in the way, you can just go ahead and pillar up in all 25 locations. As you can see, I have got moved to a different ocean monument just because I wanted to. And I placed a N way up in the air just in case, you know, the sun is high up in the air. It's hard to see or it's raining and I can't see the sun. But I'll always look up and I can see that that way is north. Just a little trick that I like to do. Plus, you can always just look at the prismarine and see which way it's pointing. But in this case, everything is spawn-proofed. You might have to jump down in there and kill the guardians that are remaining. Get rid of those first, just to make sure that no new ones are popping up. If new ones are popping up, then you don't have these spawn spots spawn-proofed. So you'll have to take care of that. Check, your, check the map one more time, and then we're ready to move. For this farm, we're going to be using the southeast corner of the ocean monument and it's going to be one two three four just these four right here you can maybe i'll just move over here you can see these four are going to be the ones that we use moving forward first thing we're going to do is grab some glass blocks and we're going to we're going to go ahead and put glass blocks three blocks down from the ocean surface on each one of these columns so go ahead and do that right now in order for this farm to work, we're going to need to have our rail systems at different elevations. So each one of these columns will be set at a different one. So this first one, we're going to put up at Y91. So take this one all the way up to Y91. All right, this column is in place. Let's go to the north. North is that way. And this next one's going to go up to Y88. This column that we're going to go to the east where the sun is rising. And this one right here is going to be up at Y90. 
And our very last one is going to be at Y91. So let's start bringing that one up all the way. Turn like like a city here. Now <laughs> let's go ahead and jump back down into the water. We're going to need a way to get up and down when we're doing our work because I know I fell off quite a few times doing this. So let's go ahead and fall back down in here. And you can see that that's north. We're going to use the southwest corner here, this column right here. And we're going to go ahead and put one, two, three, four blocks. And we're going to move into the center one, two, three, four, just like that. This block is going to be part of our collection system. It's also going to be where we have our ladder to get all the way up. So let's go ahead and put a little platform in here just so we can step up onto it when we're ready to. But let's go up right here and we're going to jump up to Y84 to start. Once we're at Y84, this is actually going to be where Trident Killer Base is. And so what we can do here is go ahead and put a little bit of a platform so we can use this a little bit later. And we have a nice jumping off point once we get our ladders in place. But now since we're here, let's go ahead and move up to Y94. This will be the level for our AFK position. We'll get this thing all built out in a little bit. But for right now, let's just jump back in the water and we'll put some ladders in. You guessed it all the way up just go ahead and put them all the way in now we can move around pretty freely especially when we fall off let's get on to the next step all right now that we're up here let's go ahead and start blocking off this direction this little platform we'll be using this a little bit later for our storage system of course you can always change that for yourself but once we've got this in place you can see one two three four five six six blocks just like that just to make things easy we can start making our way over towards the first column so we can just jump down here. And then once we're in this location, we're gonna go towards the north, towards our column over there. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in a stair, just like this. Make sure that it's pointing towards the north and that it's slanted down towards this next column. So this will be one of the base for our first spawn location. Now that we're right here, we can jump down and we need to jump down and give it a little bit of space. I found that these minecarts like to throw back and forth because these guardians are so big. So we got to give a little bit of space, but we're going to go ahead and put it on this southeast corner and then we're going to make our way all the way across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this last one will be part of we're going to be throwing it into our trident killer right over here. So we'll build that out in a little bit. All right, we got two of our rail lines in place. Let's make sure we get to the last one. So come back up your ladder. And then even with the one we have already branched out to, let's go ahead and just make our way over to the this column over here. We can jump down at this point. Go ahead and grab your solid block. And to the north, you can see north. Oh, I should have picked a different color. Yeah. We can go ahead and place one two, just like that. Branch over one. We'll go up like that. We're starting to look like a Tetris piece right there. And then we're going to have six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can start to see that we're starting to make an area for our trident killer. So this is one of the last spots we need to be, but we'll be a backup here when we're ready to place some rails. All right, so we're going to come over to our last column, and we're going to put it on the southwest corner of that column. So that's north, so this is a southwest corner of that column. And what we can do from here is just kind of go out like this, and then we'll be ready to put some rails on. Since we're right here, go ahead and throw on your activator rail. Make sure it's activator and not power. We're going to go ahead and throw a lever right next to it. We're going to turn it on. This next part, we're going to jump up here and we're going to put in our rails just like this in these locations. So one, skip one, two, skip one, three. We're going to do a little jog there and then we'll have one pretty close to each other, right? Just like that. And this is going to help us navigate all the way to the final location. These rails are not in the right orientation. So we're going to have to put in some temporary rails. You can use regular rails to do that. You can see now that they're they're, they're now facing east to west in this line. So let's go ahead and put another block in just like that. Break it because we don't need that later. And same with this last one all the way over here. We just put one in right there. Break that. Since we're up here, let's go ahead and power these up for these first two. Let's go ahead and put the levers on this side. 
And then for these other three, one, we'll put one on here. We'll put it on the outside. We're going to have some redstone in the middle. We don't want to energize it when we, we really don't want to. But this last part, we're going to have to come up on both sides just like this. And then we're going to have to jump up a little bit, put one in, and we're going to have a lever on this glass block. I'm going to turn it on, and yep, that's Minecraft for you. You power this lever, and it will energize everything around it. So yeah, this one is a little unique. All right, I jumped down to my platform down here, and I'm just going to climb back up. Like I said, you're going to be going, going to be going a little bit of up and down. If you want to put some glass in or something to get between these, that's totally up to you. But we're going to go ahead and grab activator rails again. We're going to start right here on the northeast corner of this column, and we're going to skip one till we make our way to our stair, just like that. The next thing we can do is we're going to need some temporary blocks just so we can get the right orientation for these rails. So you can use the glass over there, break that, put it in, make sure they're facing the right direction. And we're doing this to make sure that the rails or the minecarts don't roll off these rails. And when we do this, we're going to trap them between some blocks. So that's why we're doing that. Let's go ahead and break those temporary blocks. And let's go ahead and put in our levers. We'll put them on the west side this time. Like I mentioned, we're going to have some little bit of redstone in the middle. We don't want to interfere with it. But this last one we can put on the inside because we really don't have anything right there. All right, jump on down. And the first one has to be right here. And then we're going to do a double right here. One, two. And then our last one goes right there. You saw that these two combined and that's going to be a problem. So to fix that, let's go ahead and break one of them. We'll put blocks on either side and then we'll grab two temporary rails just like that and then once we have a one two three in position we can go ahead and place one right here and then we can break the temporary ones and then they'll stay in the orientation that we want so yeah this is looking good so from here let's go ahead and grab a lever we'll put it right there because we've got the glass we don't want to interrupt that and then on the double put them on the outside here on the north side same with this last one right here and now all of our rails powered up. Make your way to the center platform because now we're going to be working on our trident killer. I'm going to put it right over there on the northeast column. So that's east, north, lots of directions. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're pointing the right way because it does make a big difference. Go ahead and break that block. Put one a little bit lower. Put a piece of dirt because we'll use this later to make our bubble column. Grab your packed ice and you're going to go one, two, three to the north. And we're going to turn and go one, two, three to the east. From here, we can put in a solid block kind of up a little bit. Grab your stairs. I'm going to go one, two, just like that. Grab your solid stairs again. We'll put one right there. And then we're going to just come up here. A solid block there. Actually, that could stay glass if you really wanted to. But I'm going to fill it in just to show what we're working on. Now, originally, this would be a 4x4 platform for a typical trident killer. But because we're going to try to collect all of the XP, well, we're going to collect all the XP and all the loot, we're going to have a little bit of a stair down here to help let things fall in every now and then. And all the XP is a nice way of getting up to our AFK area. So the next thing we're going to do now is grab some pistons. First thing we're going to do is we're going to leave this area open. This is going to overhang a little bit, so go ahead and put in a block right there. Break out part of the column. One, two, right here. Stagger all the way around just like that. And from here, we can fill in solid blocks right here, 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 and there. And one on the corner, you just jump up and get this last one. From here, we're going to go ahead and place in a slab. I have a slab right here on the top, not the bottom. That way, stuff has a way to get out. And from here, the next step, we'll go ahead and grab some redstone dust, put it in each of these corners, grab your observer, and we're going to put it on the solid block in between the redstone and the piston. Make sure the red dot's over the piston and the face is facing the redstone. So we're just going to go all the way around just like this. And now we can grab solid blocks once more, Put break that one. This will help our circuit be completed, and then we can go ahead and over here jump up on top of the observer put this stuff in here one last thing we're going to want to do is break that block 
put in a stair, you can do it from this angle. It definitely helps. And it's always a good reminder to do it a little bit afterwards. But now we can put in water right here. A nice water stream. You can see that it's pushing it towards the half slab. And we don't have to worry about it falling out the back because stairs will keep the water in. If it was a piston, we'd have to cover up the other side. Before we go any further, let's throw in two of our tridents. I'm putting impaling three on there just to show that it will work on kind of a lower tier trident. But if you can get the higher tier tridents with imp impaling five, go for it. That will make a difference. So now we're looking good from here. We can just grab some glass and fill this up just a little bit. Just like that. In fact, I'm just going to jump down here and we're going to come back to this spot in a little bit once we finish up that top part. Here, jump down, and you can see that we got some openings. So what we're going to do is just come over and fill in this to make sure we've got a nice pathway for our water. Grab a button like that, and grab your water source, and you're going to sneak it in here. It's going to create a water source flowing in the direction we want, and it will get right to where our future bubble column will be. All right, so the next thing we can do is get ready for some redstone, and we're just going to put two more blocks right here, and eventually we'll put in a redstone repeater. And this will allow us to switch the Trident Killer on and off from our AFK position. So from here, we can go ahead and put in a couple blocks. This one's temporary, so we can get this one in. We'll put one up like that. A little bit of block right there. And go ahead and build this up till we're even with our AFK position. Okay, now that we've built this up a little bit, we're going to take just a second to look at that beautiful sunrise. There it goes. All right, that's good. <laughs> Come over here and you see, remember that little platform we built out. You can go ahead and fill this in if you want. Actually, just one of these because I know we're going to be jumping around a little bit down here in a little bit. We can build this out a little bit as well. You can see that we have this all the way built up and we're ready to get our collection system in place since we're right here anyways. Let's go ahead and jump up and we'll place in some blocks just like that. Place in another one like that as well. One down here because we're going to need to jump up. We'll put in two half slabs. That will allow our XP to hit us, but not the loot. The loot will continue to go up. Once we've done that, let's build this up one more time and then fill that spot in because we're going to put a water stream in in a little bit. We're going to go fill that in just like that. And what I like to do is just build this out. I'm going to build it out to about right here. Once we've got that, we can grab our hoppers. And we can just build it just like this. And from here, we can place in some chests. And what you can do just to start is to put one in like that. We can start making our way backwards a little bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe we should come out over here a little bit. Fill this stuff in. Yep, just like that. Probably I just block up from here. Try to get our way around. From here, we can just go ahead and drop this in. This can make it expandable then. You can put another row of chests in, probably two. In fact, so you'll have three total just to start collecting things. And if you need to, you can just expand it out that way to continue collecting all your loot. So with that in place, we're looking pretty good. What we can do now is just come back up here. And we're going to drag some glass all the way across. All the way across. And what we'll do for now is just put one of these in. Grab your water. We're going to let that go all the way across, just like that. Once we've done that... Go ahead and break that block that we had in there temporarily to help make our water stream. And that water will flow down there. So when we're ready, we can put in our bubble column with some kelp. So let's come back down. We'll hop on our ladder here. If you don't like the way this is working, go ahead and grab a solid block there and throw that in. Get rid of these temporary blocks that we put in. And you can put your ladder in. Yeah, that works a little bit better. Jump down here. Now we got to get our redstone signal up. This is why we kept the, <laughs> the levers on the other side so that we didn't interrupt some of our signals. So let's go ahead and grab our repeater. We're going to do a hard connection into this. 
And then we're going to come out the side here. One, two, three. And we're going to build that up right like that and put a block on top of the redstone, which will start making kind of a stair. Because it's glass, it'll go right through it. So we can put it on top, jump up, put it on top, put some more redstone down. We're going to jump up with some more glass. Just like that. Keep going up. We're almost there. Be good here soon. And let's see here. Actually, we don't need to jump up right there. We can just make our way over. So from here, grab our lever, put it right there, and connect all of our redstone all the way down. Now we can check real quick if our pistons are moving. We actually energized it, which actually stops the trident killer. But if we turn it off, then the clock starts on that trident killer. So yeah, everything's moving, looking good. All right, let's go ahead and turn off that trident killer. We don't need that thing clicking. Come over to the back side, just to the end of our storage system. We're gonna just branch out a little bit more. If you can use glass, you can use Whatever you want, really, as long as you torch it up or half slab it, glass works perfect in both cases. Kind of branch down, jump down here. We are going to, looks like I put in some blocks by mistake here. We're going to put those in just like that and raise it up so it's one block higher than the rails. And now we're going to try and enclose our rail system here because we don't want the rail, we don't want the minecarts to fall off. So we're going to do this. Just like that. So now we got this nice tight area that things can't fall out. And to do that, we also need to have a block right here. So we're going to put in a minecart right here. You can see there is a block on either side. It can't move. Put it in right there. Can't move. Same thing over here as well. It can only go in the direction of the rails. So these are in good shape. So let's go ahead and build this up by one more. Don't forget this little spot right here. And we can get rid of that if we need to. And then just come over here and oops, make sure you're not covering that up. Go ahead and bring it all the way across along the top. We don't need these things in a tra traffic jam and they'll end up just messing everything up. We'll keep them inside this tube until they get into the trident killer. So to wrap up this side, go ahead and put another block right there. Grab a solid block and put it right there. Actually, let's go ahead and throw in water column right there so you can see that it's one block above the mine cart which is just fine we can actually do it one less if we wanted to but nope we're going to keep it right here and when we're ready after we put in our kelp we'll be able to close this one up all right let's go ahead and close up everything else I'm kind of waiting on the bubble columns because once we get started these things are going to keep coming let's just Make our way over to this one, jump on down, and we're gonna build up these blocks right here along the column. Put another one in later. We'll put that in in a little bit. Go ahead and drop in your water as well. You can throw in your minecart right here, and because we blocked the north, the south, and the east directions of this minecart, it has no other way but to throw it in that direction. So, yeah, we're looking good right there. Since we're right here, let's go ahead and throw a button right there. That'll trick the guardians into thinking that they can land on something when in reality they'll just land all the way down there so we'll build that up just like this and then we'll just cap it off fall right here if you want to and let's just close up this side now now that we've got a really good idea of what's happening let's fill that in fill this in as well these guardians can find openings and then just spoil all of our fun so we're going to go all the way over to this location in fact, we can block up right here. We can fill that in as well. Come all the way up. Fill that in. And like that. So we're going to start all the way over here. Just like the other ones, let's fill this in right here. Throw in our water. Throw in an extra block right there. I'm going to fill this part in just like this. Just like we did on the first part. Find our minecarts. They're moving and shaking. One, two, three, four. 
and we'll put a second level in. Just like that. And then we can put kind of a cap. Oh, we're getting close. All right, let's 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 make our way back down here. Make sure you don't fall all the way off. Not a big deal, though, because now we're really connected between everything. So we can build this up one more time, and we'll throw in our water. Put a little extra right there if we want to. Now we can build this wall up just like this, jump on up, just because it's a little bit easier to do. We can grab some more buttons. I like to put a couple buttons in right here just to kind of trick these guardians a little bit and yeah we're looking, looking pretty snazzy fill that in jump up here that way they can't get out they've only got one way to go and that is straight down make your way over you can fall down onto our tracks and we're going to fill this in as well so let's go ahead and do that all the way up to our trident killer before we get too much further let's build this side up just like that now we're really starting to fill this in. So come across just like that. Fill that part in, build that up. Really just gonna enclose this. You can see that we've got another rail right there. So once you place that block, put a button on it. So it's right next to it. This button's next to that one. And when we're ready for that one, we'll put a button in right there. And so all help trick our guardians into thinking that they can land on something. Let's go ahead and put in a block right there. Two block gap. And we can just build this side up and close it. And jump down here. A little bit easier now. I've got stuff to build on right there. Grab your mine carts. We're just going to fill this in. And I'm walking this through with you. I wish I could cut a little bit faster through this video, but I want to make sure we've got everything covered. Let's go ahead and build this up one more time. And this will help trap that one so it always stays in that little column. And we can build this up if you really want to, just like that. So now we've got everything caught within a glass box. And it's a little easier to jump around now. So guess what? We're pretty darn close. The next thing to do is to open the floodwaters and let these guardians come in. All right, let's jump all the way back down here. So we've got our glass in place. Break, break that. First green one, we can keep all of these. Definitely want to keep them. We can put some dirt in at this location at each one of our columns. Now we're looking good right there. Let's climb all the way back up. All right, we got dirt at the bottom. Let's go ahead and jump all the way down. Swim all the way down really quick. You can open this up until you find your dirt and start putting in your kelp. Make sure you don't run out of air. Make sure you go all the way up. And now we can enclose this. So let's go ahead and grab a solid block. Just like that. We'll spawn proof it a little bit, put a block on top of it, and we'll just march over to the next one. And since this one's higher over here, we'll just go to this one. So, all right, we got all that kelp in place. We can't forget about this last one right here in the middle. So let's go ahead and come up to the top here. And just gonna block up here, no big deal. And we're going to fly down here into the column. Let's go ahead and put some kelp in all the way to the top. And I, you know what I like to do? I like to put a little block right here. Otherwise, your stuff will go crazy. In fact, we can just keep it open for right now because it is fun to see it go way up there and then make its way into the storage. So got all of this in place. The first thing we can do is grab some soul sand now. And we're just going to be quick here. Break break that if you want to. You can put a little platform right here so you can move a little faster. Break and put that in. That'll send everything up. <laughs> that looks like it's working. And here comes the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and turn this trident killer on. And we're going to jump down here. We're going to grab our soul sand once we do this and move away from these spawn locations. We're going to start getting some guardians. So let's put that in. Bubble columns on all of these now. Let's climb on up. Some, some people coming in right now. 
See, they're all flying in there now. All right. That direction's working just perfect. How about this one over here? Let's, let's watch this one. That one got caught. Everything's moving in. No one's stuck up here. That one. Yep. Let's watch this one. That one zoomed on in. And our last one over here. If we can get one to pop up over here in that column. Everywhere else seems to be working pretty good. All right, here's our final example. Yep, they get grabbed and tossed right in. This farm is totally operational. Let's switch over to survival. We can see that I am in the right spot. Let's do minus 50 levels. Let's do it a couple of times. You can see that it does, it's not a steady stream of XP. Sometimes they get grouped together just because they're getting combined a little bit in that Trident Killer. So you might stay at one level for a little bit, but then you'll jump up just like that. And this is where you're going to AFK, right in this spot. So you can kind of mark it however you want. Put a slab right there or something else. Just to make sure you're right here, your loot. It's <laughs> just like that and it'll go into your storage system. All right, thanks everyone for joining me on the Bedrock Guide. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It is fun to make. It's definitely a little more complicated, but you know what? We're gonna keep expanding this thing. Maybe we'll end up taking over everything. Who knows what will happen next? If you like what you saw, hit that like button and leave some comments too. It always helps the channel. Please subscribe, because that definitely helps the channel as well. So thanks everyone. Bye-bye.